Okay, so you can see a bit more clearly the uh, reason for the swivels. We've got the two swivels on the bone and then one on the bridge. So that second anchor can go into any position without any twisting. And um, once the anchor is set, I can also move underneath the ropes without any twisting too. Okay. So I'm gonna go over, just do a close branch, make a redirect, and then you can see how these are set up. So we'll put a redirect in here and what I tend to do these days is only use a rope as tall as long as my anchor so ordinarily two 30 meter ropes so I've got one here and then I've got one here which I can use as, a, as an anchor leg or as a redirect rope traversing rope so Got a prusik loop with a ring on it. So this ring is small enough that we're going to be able to not block onto it. So I can pass this rope anywhere. I'll just go here for now. Now I'm going to create an anchor back onto my rope, my main rope. That can be connected with a carabiner or link, steel link. So create enough length, whatever you need, wherever you're going to. Not block that. Let's get a carabiner in there. Let's back up. There we go. So now we can put on our second bone. This is where that very quick midline attachability is so nice. Push that up a little. Set the hitch. I can gently sit into my system. I've got a very nice flexibility between these two anchors now, one way or the other. 
And like I was saying, I can turn underneath the ropes. Nothing gets twisted. So I'm going to go back onto my tachyon and then retrieve the redirect. Take that off. Just clip it onto me so I don't lose the rope. Take out the stopper. Very smooth ascension. One nice trick, if you're having difficulty getting your rope into the branch or if you want to go higher up, it's a bit of an old trick. Just use a uh, little throw weight, six or an eight ounce. That rope comes really nicely back to you. What I really like about this redirect is that you're not having to push lots of tail around the tree. Setting anchors from the working end is much easier, quicker. Like I said before, you tailor that length to where you're going to next. I'll 
flying butterfly, half hitch on a bite. Then the carabiner. It never gets twisted. Really amazing. So pluck the rope in. Load the system. And then gently use the lanyard. So you can even do two with one hand. Obviously as the angles get wider, you're gonna to have to use two hands. The bone should tend that slack through pretty easily too. Very, very safe. Easy to set retrievable stationary rope redirect.